Here we go using the Roland Gaia Apregio feature, syncing it with Sonar LE. Here we go. So setting up the Gaia first. What you have to do is set it up so we can use the USB cable to recognize the MIDI sync. So set that up first. I'm going to hold down the V Link button, which is right here. And you want to hit the cancel shift button over here. And this and then you want to go ahead or sorry, uh, hold down cancel sync, hit the V link button. That puts you in the parameter to change the uh, output of this the clock signal. You want to hit the tempo sync button, hold that down. And then we have to go over to our choices over here. And we want to hit the reverb button. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to put this down real quick and hit that. So now we hit the reverb button. And you see everything is blinking. We're going to hit the cancel shift button. to. It's kind of like the exit button. Next move now is we're going to go to Sonar to set it up to Armor Track. Right, continuing with the setting up your Gaia to use the Predio Sync function. We have a tr we have everything open up in Sonar LE. We're going to make sure it sees the Gaia as the mini interface. We're going to go up to go up to Options, go up to Mini Devices. You should see the SH01. One check mark there, and check mark there. I hit OK, and let's go ahead and expand the MIDI track so we can kind of see if we're getting any signal. There we're going. So we're not getting anything there. So let's go. Make sure we select the inputs. So we're going to go to there. Put on channel one, and I'm going to set the channel, and that's already there. Yeah. Should be getting a signal. So we're getting MIDI signal, as you can see, going up, getting MIDI signal. So let's go ahead and set up the, the sync part. So again, we're going to go to go to options, go to, go to project, and we want to go to sync. And we want to make sure transmit MIDI start continuous stop clock. Make sure that's checked. And make sure mini sync output port shows your SH01. Make sure that's set up. So the top one, transmit mini clock source. And we're going to hit OK. So that means we're still getting mini signal. So now we're going to arm a track. And we're going to go ahead and hear the sound. Go back to the Gaia. Turn their Prager on. playing with their Prejo, so let's go ahead and just record a little bit here. Hit record. So hit stop. Rewind it. Go ahead and hit play. There we go. It's recording the preview. It's find the clock of Sonar LE. So that's it. You know, just make sure they're on their project. Make sure the transmit is set, and you're all ready to go there. You have a good day now.